Oh, it's fine. I'm fine. We had an Albario boxing party with Pablo Lago. Pablo, how are we doing today? Fine, fine. How's everything? Excellent. Hey, great. How are you doing, Jason? Great, great. I'm not going to be here. Okay, so what we're here to talk about specifically is Pablo Ramos' percussion program here at El Barrio Boxing. And uh, Pablo, first, please tell us a little bit more about yourself. You know, I'm, I'm only here from the top ones. I live here in the now. Uh, I've been involved in the uh, percussion, that percussion, for over 40 years. Uh, I started, uh, I was actually, as far as I, back as I can remember, growing up in the uh, Brook Avenue. Uh, wherever there was drums, uh, Always uh, jam sessions in the street. I I was always attracted to that. And listening to the music, listening to the music. My, my father was uh, was a big music lover. And it's just uh, it's in your life. You know, it's something that you love and uh, you grow up with it. It's part of your life. Okay. I've been listening to music uh, for all my life. And uh, I decided to uh, play, not just listen. Okay. Yeah. And uh, how about your experiences in uh, Puerto Rico, in the military, and Panama? When, when I was in Panama for four years, uh, I, I played in the carnivals there. I, I did a, when I had a chance, that's why I basically uh, fine tuned. I, let's say if I, uh, I started playing around the age of 14, and when I got to the service, I was around 19 years old. I went to Panama for four years, and I learned to play there in uh, my spare time with so, some of the fellow soldiers. There were a lot of Puerto Ricans uh, in, in the army there, uh -huh. and we would spend our spare time listening to music and playing drums yes, sir. To, to remind us of things back home. But being in Panama is also a Caribbean uh, country also. Sure. They, they, they have the same roots as uh, Puerto Rico, Cuba, Dominican Republic, yes, Colombia. Yes, so. Uh, they have carnivals. They, I played uh, in the carnivals there. That's a big thing. That's like not like Brazilian carnival, but it's pretty. Uh, it's a big thing out there. The carnival. Okay. Yeah. Very it's cool. a different style. Very cool. Yeah. It's not like sitting down. It's a, it's a marching, marching type of playing. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. All right. And uh, can you tell us a little bit more about your classes? Well, uh, I've been giving classes here for a year now, and. Uh, I give classes to whoever wants to uh, learn from the beginning, beginner's classes or advanced classes, either one. There's a lot to this. There's different rhythms that you can play, uh, different styles. Uh, depending on what the person knows, you have to take it from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, it was great talking to you. This is uh, Paolo's introduction. We're actually going to have a video coming out every week or two yeah. displaying different um, different styles as he was talking about. Yeah. And uh, Paolo's going to show you right now some of what he can do. So Paolo okay. and his student, uh, uh, Jesus, I have, so I have uh, get Jesus into it. Here. He's one of my students and uh, he, he basically thing. wants to wants to be able to play salsa. Well, with, with salsa, which is a combination of, comes out of the uh, mambo or somonduro, uh, salsa would be basically something like this. That, that would be something of a modern salsa, that, but I also teach and which is my favorite, I, I, I'm more of a folkloric uh, drummer. Uh, Cuban rumbas, Puerto Rican bombas, uh, uh, sordid African oriented rhythms. Uh, for example, you have uh, the rumba, is, uh, would be. Uh Then you have uh, some of the uh, Puerto Rican rhythms like uh, bomba, 
bomba I like to play is the uh, bomba from Loisa, which is uh, a section of uh, Puerto Rico that is uh, known for its African uh, rhythm. The uh, African uh, Puerto Rican bomba would be something that sounds like this. Principally from 2.30 to 4 o'clock, Tuesdays and Thursdays, but you know, we're still working on the schedule, we got expanded a bit, but um, this is just an introduction, we're just getting started, and uh, yeah, with that, this is uh, Jonathan Lang, Pablo Ramos, and Señor Jesus, signing off, thank you. <laughs>